Alright, what's up everybody? My name is DeltaWolf556 and I'm back with another episode of my Fallout 4 playthrough. Last time we took over our first theme park, Kitty Kingdom. Now the plan for today is going to be capturing the Nuka-Cola bottling plant. So obviously I'm just outside Kitty Kingdom right here on the map, so we just got to work our way around and make our way to the Nuka-Cola bottling plant and secure it. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered. I completely forgot to get the, uh, is it two medallions or is it just one medallion here in Kitty Kingdom? But I completely forgot to get those for the quest that Nira gave us. Precious Metals is the quest, so we'll go ahead and activate that, which we'll need to get the medallions from the Nuka-Cola bottling plant as well. So the Nuka Racers, I believe, is here in Kitty Kingdom. Those are like those uh, cars that'll run you over and kill you, as well as the Ferris wheel, which is also obviously here. I don't know why I didn't check or remember when I was looking at the Ferris wheel originally. But whatever. We're here now. We'll get it. I know it's somewhere around the entrance. Or is it the exit? I don't know. We'll see. I could have sworn it was around over here somewhere. But I'm not saying... Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of this. Okay. Well, uh, here's the park medallion dispenser. There we go. Got one of them. Oh, is that a rad storm? I think that's a rad storm. Papa Rad X. To counteract the rad storm. So, I remember the... That turret respawned. Alright, well, uh, that works. What I was gonna say is I'm pretty sure that it was over here. The, like, Nuka Racer Station or whatever is, like, on the north side somewhere. I probably need to go around the other way, actually. Unless I can parkour my way up this. Does not appear like I can. Alright, we'll have to go around. We can just follow the, uh, Nuka Racer track around until we find the station. Okay, so here's the track. Gotta make sure not to get hit by them because they're still turned on. And here is the station, and there is the medallion dispenser. And there we go. We got two out of seven, I think. I think there's seven of them. I don't know. I'd have to double check. But now, we'll actually head on over to the uh, Nuka-Cola bottling plant. So we are just about there. I'm sure we will see some of the enemies that have taken over this park somewhere sometime soon eventually there's the location discovered and uh i'm not seeing any enemies anywhere vats also isn't picking anybody up either so we will go ahead and head inside the world of refreshment now can i get Ooh, we got a to the nuka cola from, uh, world of refreshment now featuring a river of nuka cola quantum wow a river of nuka cola quantum don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay, that was a bad idea to drink that. Don't drink that. It's not good. But yeah, uh, we got a uh, we got our first gang hall for over at Kitty Kingdom, which we will try. I'll actually I'll activate that quest so I don't forget about it. Because if I don't activate it, I won't see the quest marker and I will completely forget to do so. But every I forget how long it is, but every so often the gang that you assign to each of the arcs will have like a, a tribute chest. Sometimes it'll have some pretty good stuff. Other times it'll just have some garbage, but you might as well check it out and see what we can get. But we're obviously not going to do that right now. So yeah, we're going to get a nice little tour of the world of refreshment. And obviously, as you can see, we are going to have some uh, Meyer lurks to deal with, as well as a bunch of hatchlings as well. But they're not as bad as the main ones who are actually very tough. You're gonna run outside. Luckily, they will follow us out here. They're not very uh, good at pathfinding. There we are. We killed our first nuke alert. They are very tough. They are very tough. And heading back inside, I heard a turret beepin. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now featuring a river of Do you want to shoot the, uh, the eggs and stuff? Otherwise, they will hatch. The Nuka Lurk uh, spawns aren't that bad, but they can be a little annoying. Ooh, that's an Assaultron. Okay. I know there's Assaultrons in here, in like the uh, the main like factory area or the bottling area rather there might be multiple but normally i don't think they normally go for the mire lurks unless you try to bait them over there but um in the year 2042 when our founder john caleb brad burton was a budding chemist 
Wow, that's very cool. Something that is nice too is uh, as long as you have the lock picking skills, you can actually take these doors as shortcuts. So I'm going to unlock this door, but we're not actually going to take this. I might actually see if there's that turret up here and then take that out real quick. There's a bottling plant staff terminal here, but there's not really much point in using it. That is basically where you're going to want to go, but not us, not right now. We want to take the actual, uh, we want to take the actual tour, you know? I am going to lockpick this door, even though this is just on the other side. Like, after you, like, round the bend, I believe. Yeah, oh, that's a spoiler. That's a spoiler for the tour. We can't, we can't be skipping ahead. All right, next up. We got this area here. It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful, and Nuka Cola was born. Wow! Thanks for the Nuka Cola. Huh. Oh great, we got another one. But at least they're the basic Nuka Alerts right now. Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 20. And they're not uh. Like the razor claws or any of the other super Welcome tough to variants, which I am definitely uh, happy about that. I also probably should not be using this service rifle. It's not great. It is the 38 caliber conversion. Oh, and this is a dead end. Jump over him. Okay, that didn't really work out very well. All right, we're going to lead him back outside. The pro strat. Near nuke alert. Oh, I have mines. Well, that's fine. Eventually, it'll come over here. And it'll trigger those mines. Okay, I triggered one of them. Where are you at? I see you. 16%. Alright, now nah, we're good. Okay, I mean, if you just want to stand there, um, by all means, continue just standing there. There we go. Got a sneak attack crit on it because somehow we went back into caution even though we're actively shooting him. There we go. I think we crippled something. Yeah, we crippled its face. Nice. Or its head, rather. Because it's a crippled limb, we'll do a little more damage to that limb. And one more shot. Ought to finish you off. Grab my mine. And then, uh, heading back inside once again okay i'll do my best to stop cheesing them by running back through Welcome the main entrance the although Nuka that's kind of putting me at a disadvantage because even though i i got a Nuka mod Cola that kind of tries to Nuka fix it the in the, year the ai for like the when enemies and stuff will start attacking you Taylor before Bradford you even fully load it in or before you can even control your character i got a mod that's supposed to like delay the enemy ai and stuff from like doing anything until you load in but it doesn't really seem to be working properly maybe i just need to update it or something anyway back on our regularly scheduled it took tour two years to perfect the formula but in late 2044 mr brad burton was finally successful and nuka cola was born wow nuka cola i do like all the like the little tiny uh nuka cola trucks and like the little nuka cola machines it's it's quite nice it is quite nice. I am a fan. It's also a great spot to get a lot, and I mean a lot of Nuka Cola. As well as Mirelurk eggs if you're in. Oh, great. Just what I did not want to see. Ugh. That is not. Uh, that's, that's what I was saying. At least we weren't seeing the tough variants, but, you know, now we are, so. Kind of a. Uh, not the greatest thing ever. But, uh. How did that even miss? All right, we're going to wait to go back and hidden. Or go back into hidden. Here we are. There we go. I actually hit him in the face that time. Okay, and now we're going to do a dead sprint back over here. And then we are going to crouch and hide over here. That Mirelurk Hunter did not come around the corner. So we'll just uh, slowly move forward. The brackets are slowly but surely fading back into hidden. The there it is. We are back in into hidden. So now we should... One thing that is annoying about this, and everybody knows, the tour guide will constantly, constantly repeat the voice lines every time you just look at the... Look in the general direction of it. It is kind of uh, annoying. 
What am I caught on? Ooh, run. And we lost him again. We're going to cheese him, but we're going to do a different kind of cheese. Dog meat? No. No dog meat. Oh, great. Dog meat. I'm going to let dog meat deal with that. You can also climb on top of the houses and stuff. Which, if you have, like, a jetpack on your uh, power armor, you could pretty much just fly over all this. There is a door right there. Oh, that might be the door at the top of the stairs. Actually, let me go check. I want to confirm if that is actually the case. The door that was up here. No, it is not the same door. But this might lead to the same door I was looking at. That is not the door I was looking at. Okay, never mind. Aha, I did it. Yes. There's also turrets up here. Dog meat, don't go for those turrets, please. Please don't. Please don't go for the turrets. Oh, yeah. Also, I didn't mention this, too, but uh, I ended up keeping the Sword of Wonders because it does do more damage than uh, the Assaultron Blade that I had. There we go. Dog meat, I told you not to go for those turrets, but you didn't want to listen. Ooh, there's one of the ticket rolls. Let's uh, actually go for that now before I completely forget about it. That gave us a thousand. Nice. And then we'll head back out here because, you know, we got to finish taking the tour. We also got to finish killing this dude. There we go. He is dead. Dang, 236 XP for that guy. Wow. That's pretty good. They were detected by something, but uh, I'm not sure entirely what that something is. All right. Oh, oh it's a regular nuke alert. It's gonna detect us. Or at least dog meat. But I'm just gonna sneak back around the corner. The formula. But there we are. Already back to hidden. Mr. Brad was finally successful. Face. And Nuka Cola was Okay, almost back to hidden, and he's just chilling out over there. There we go. We'll wait for dog meat to fully recover before we engage him again, though. Oh, never mind. The Meyer Lurk had other plans. Light post. Yeah, these nuke alerts are uh, nothing to shirk off, you know? They are fairly tough, especially when you're at my level and you have underpowered weapons. Also, I'm still being detected by something. regional favorites, such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victory. Wow, very cool. I sure do love myself a Nuka Cola Wild. Okay, oh, there's one behind me. I was like, who is detecting me? I don't know why they didn't pop up sooner. Or why it didn't pop up sooner. It took almost two years to perfect the formula. But in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful. And Nuka Cola was born. Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 2044. When our founder, John Caleb Brad Burton, was a budding... I don't know where he's going. Excuse me. Hit that mine, hit that mine, hit that mine. Yes! That didn't really do anything to you, though. I almost shot that corpse right there. Leave me alone. I'm abusing your pathfinding skills. Yeah, I don't know why he ran all the way over there, but, uh... There we are. He's dead. Alrighty. Continuing on with the tour, this time with no oh, more wow. Mirelurks. Well, hopefully no more Mirelurks. Cars aren't moving. Oh, there's another hunter over there, dude. Ooh. We want this Nuka-Cola Quantum. Not oh, wait, was that an ice cold? 
It wasn't ice cold. Oh, nice. What are the odds of that? So we're going to do the exact same kind of cheese that we did did before. Forgot about this room. Oh, you can just one-hit melee them with the gun butt. There we are. We got that unlocked. That brings us back into this room with the turrets. So, shortcuts. If you invested into your lockpicking skill, you can uh, take shortcuts. Dog meat. Don't engage the hunter, please. You could try the Tesla rifle. I've just been hanging on to this and I haven't been using it. So, uh, you kind of want to get the opening shot with this thing, though. Especially if I can get a sneak attack crit. No crit. Oh, no. Oh, no more mines. Close the door on them. That didn't seem to do much. Ow, oh, I'm really hoping that he doesn't hit me with his acid, though. Yeah, this thing is not doing, like, hardly anything to him. Great. No, he's coming up here. So, okay. If I didn't destroy these turrets, we could have used them to our advantage. Oh, he got me. No, he got me with this poison, this acid. Oh, he can't fit through the door. You idiot. There we are. And we got idiot savant to trigger. Very nice. Okay, the Tesla rifle, not great. It is not great. We're taking them out at all. I think it'll be good for the Mirelurk eggs, though. Oh, it doesn't arc between the eggs. Maybe if I charge it, it will. Great. <laughs> the cheese is real. What kind of cheese? Uh, I'm thinking this is uh, kind of Swiss cheese because the plant has got a lot of holes in it. At least this one doesn't spit acid at me. Alright, hold on. Gotta reload. Hey, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Bub? Oh, he got in here. He got in here. Ow. He's following me up the stairs. No. Okay, I can jump onto this beam, and then he can't get me. Jeez. We like our cheese. Alright, hold on. Gotta reload again. You know what? We're finishing you off with the sword. Ow. Never mind. No, we're not. Just kidding. Yes, we are. Like a real gamer. Yo. If he hits me, I'm gonna die. Close the door on him. Alright. Another stim fact to heal. There we go. Alright, we're good. Get parried. Ow. Ah, we got him. And he gave us a bottle cap. We did it. That was such an epic fight right there. Nuka or, or Nuka cherry. Oh, yeah. That worked pretty well. Just as I thought it would on them. Yeah, we are in caution, though. Not danger. Caution, not danger. There's another hunter. Oh, well, now we're in danger. Back to the cheese door. Okay, let's see what grenades I got. I got dynamites. Yes. Take that. Okay, that second dynamite didn't hit him. Long fuse dynamite. Just like Fallout New Vegas, not really uh, worth using. However, that's all we got for explosives. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. No. That would have worked. Okay. He's not even bothering to come in here. 
which, which works for me, I suppose. Okay, we're, we're using the cover system for once. There we are. We did it. In light of it being Nuka World, we're going to use Nuka Cola to heal instead of Stimpax. <laughs> it's not going to go well because I don't have that many of them, but uh, we got to save our Stimpax, you know? Right, we are almost done with the tour. Next up, we got the Nuka Cola hey, Dark. Hey, Dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? Then pick up an ice cold Nuka Cola Dark and experience the most thirst quenching way to unwind. Wow, nobody even has any new Coca Cola darks. Now, what is nice is you can take their outfits, which is pretty cool. But and then we got the new Coca Cola power it's one of armor. Several operational factories actively producing Nuka Cola. Oh, there's a Meyer alert. I forgot there was one guarding that. Hey, mom and dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? Well, run, 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 run. Delight in the refreshment of an ice cold Nuka Grape, Nuka Orange, or Nuka Cherry. Back to the cheese room. The cheese room. Wow, <laughs> that hurt. I meant to push the Nuka Cola button. Owie. Hey, back in here, you. You waited that time. Obviously, it doesn't do as much damage if you don't charge it up. However, sometimes you just got to panic fire, you know? Don't you glitch through that door like the other one did. You better not. That would be not nice, and I would not appreciate it very much, you know? Alright, okay, one more one more good charge hit to the face ought to kill him. Okay, maybe not. Ow! Okay, may maybe a little more than one. All right, we need to drink all this Nuka Cola. We're out of Nuka Cola. No. Well, there goes that plan of using only Nuka Cola to heal. Luckily, there's just uh, one of those little guys over here. All right, can we re-trigger the voice line for this? There it is. It's one of several operational factories. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be looking at this, not the power armor. Wow, <laughs> the body <laughs> down there, that's funny. Uh, but yeah, we gotta, I forget where the switch is for this or the terminal for it, but it's towards the end of the dungeon, then you gotta come back for it. But obviously, as uh, a collector, we are gonna be collecting this power armor and uh, taking it back to base eventually someday. Now, uh, there are turrets here. I think you're out of range. Never mind, no, you're not. Ooh, more grenades. Uh, locked ammo box. You better got some. You better got. You better have some good ammo for me. Give me like 30 rounds of 308, please. And that would be very nice. And I would. Okay, 24 rounds of 5 mil and toothpaste. Okay. All right. Toothpaste in the ammo box. And this leads back to the other door we opened earlier. And this door leads over to. More or less, it's a shortcut, or like, you know, a lot of shortcuts that you're able to take. And this is actually the control room where we needed to go anyway, so wait, we're in danger surprise. right now. This is where we produce the newest member of our family, Nuka Cola Quantum. Alright, but hold on, we gotta finish taking the tour before we can actually do anything with this, or before I do anything with this. We're gonna finish taking the tour. Here in the following chamber. Great detected. Freaking Assaultron. Another hunter over there, too. Special 
Now that Assaultron's not very happy with us, neither is his hunter. But something you can do is you could get the Assaultron to come up here. Also, once again, if I didn't destroy this turret, I could use that to uh, take out the Mire Lurks. Let's start using these tin grenades because I have a ton of them. Apparently, this thing is my most powerful single-shot weapon. But that's based off of it having a full charge. Oh, hello, Assaultron. Oh, the Assaultron's very weak. Oh, but there's like three of them in there. What the? Oh, he came in here. I don't know why my uh, gun glitched out for a second there, but uh, the Assaultron will maybe, possibly will help me. Maybe. Okay, the Tesla rifle is kind of bugging out now, which is not uh, not what we want. Okay, Assaultron is attacking the hunter, I think. Possibly. There's two blips on the compass there. We could run back and take one of the doors, one of the shortcut doors. Hey, Mom and Dad. Ooh, Soltron. There's like three of them here, which is crazy. I, th I thought there was only like normally like one. Oh, and there's another one up upstairs. Ow. Okay, we gotta go over to the shotgun. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, switch. Switch. Oh, great. I have no action points. Uh oh. Close the door. Run. We're just going to start nading. Nade spam. Nade spam. What am I on? I don't know. Oh, great. We only have 29 shells left. Ow! How are these shots not hitting? What the? It's like bugged out. <laughs> I'm doing no damage to them. What the heck? They're impervious to my shotgun. I didn't want to have to do this, but uh, I think it is MG42 time. That one's like invincible. Why is it invincible? It's cheating! Leave me alone, you cheater. It's in invincible assault, John. What the hell? That is not fair. It's like dodging and weaving and stuff, but like, it's not taking any damage. There we go, now it's taking damage. That's what I thought. This Assaultron was not taking damage before. Now that one's not either. Actually, we'll leave you there with that Mire Lurk. You, you deal with them for me. Yes. 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 My plan is working. Come on. Laser it. Laser it. Face laser it, Assaultron. Yes. And we're, we're experiencing all the bugs today. Oh. Why are they... Okay, either my accuracy is extremely bad, or uh, they are very good at uh, dodging the attacks. That was actually not a good experience at all. <laughs> they were... I swear, these Assaultrons were invincible. That was insane and i am not a fan but okay that should keyword should be all of the assault trons how did that how did that how did that miss why is my game frozen no the game crashed all right so i had to reload this auto save which is when i equipped the tin grenade so i think the assault trons were already coming after me so we are going to run away. And if we can lose the Assaultrons and they could maybe kill the rest of the Mirelurks for me, I will not say no. Back to the cheese room. Okay, for a second I thought that was the Assaultrons head laser. Oh, 
Oh, great. Alright, we got a stim. And then we gotta run around this corner. That Assaultron should, hopefully. Oh, great. Alright. MG42. Okay. I think we might be good. Oh, never mind. We're not. We're not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, we're, we're back in a corner. That's fine. MG42 is insane. Alright, so is the hunter... Oh, the hunter killed the Meyer... Or the Meyer League. The hunter killed the Assaultron. Nice, we did it. This time, uh, the game didn't crash on us. Very cool. We're still in caution, though, so that might be another Assaultron, which is like five Assaultrons. At least it's very weak. There we go. Still in danger, though. And at least none of them are invincible this time. Or none of them were invincible this time. All right, I think we are good. So now we can actually maybe hopefully continue the tour this is where we produce the newest member of our family nuka cola quantum wow that's where they make the nuka cola quantum wow so cool but one last Meyer alert you somehow didn't spawn when the rest of them did there we go oh wait no that wasn't him <laughs> i thought that was the Meyer alert Dang it. He's very low. One more shot. One more shot. And he's just running away entirely. There you are. There we go. I love the effect of the Tesla rifle. It looks really cool. Hey, look at that. We have now officially cleared the bottling plant. Although, that's not counting the turrets. So now we can actually finish the tour. On behalf of all the Nuka world, we hope you have enjoyed the ride and learning about yeah, I sure did. I learned so much. And that concludes the tour of the Nuka Cola bottling plant. Now we'll need to head back Welcome into the, the control world room world over section. here. And now Featuring we can activate Nuka this Cola terminal Cola right Cola. here, which is the system control terminal. Actually, I don't even think we need to do this, but I'm going to do it for the XP anyway. Oh, look at that. Second try. Security door control. We can access that. Open that. I honestly do not remember which door this goes to, so there's that. New and then we can read this family. note right here, New going to the roof. Running up to the roof for a minute to see, check if this is some sort of military training exercise. Casey. Good grammar. Good grammar. To see, check. To see, check. C check. Good job. Good job. All right. Now we can actually loot and get a ton. And I mean a ton of Nuka Cola Quantum. And luckily we have already dealt with all of the Assaultrons and stuff. Which there was like no joke. There was like five or six of them in here. Which is crazy. I accidentally went out the door. But at least we discovered the location now. So that's nice. All right. Running down the stairs. We can get a ton of Nuka Cola Quantums. Like I said. An absolute ton of of nuka cola quantums now i don't know if that was here or if that's a location from fallout 3 where you can activate the conveyor belt no that was fallout new vegas that was fallout new vegas in the sunset sarsaparilla bottling plant the sunset sarsaparilla headquarters my bad take you out real quick we're very close to the next level which will be very nice to get and then through here i believe this is another entrance you can take into the place i'm pretty sure it's got like one of the ones that you just walk through yeah it does okay well we're not gonna go that way because that'll lead into the big lake and we don't want to be in the big lake now we gotta head through the room with the uh the giant mixer that mixes all of the nuka cola presumably i'm pretty sure that's what that is and then we got a little gunner position over here uh, and this one is a named gunner sergeant lanier and we got corporal downey's report we'll see if the quick play will actually work once again it obviously does not manually insert it and we'll listen to that as i continue looting as far as i know a last living member of sergeant lanier's recon team we tried to secure the bottling plant and got overrun by some breed of meyer lurk i've never seen anything like them blue glow so strong stronger than any commonwealth lurk i've encountered it's got to be the quantum running through this place we breached their nest and they they poured out 
We fell back, but I'm pretty sure one of those damn lurks made off with my leg in the process. Private Clay dragged me to safety before I sent him to warn the others back at the camp, but uh, I could hear their screams from here. I know that help's not coming. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna be food for some mild lurk spawn, so I'm taking this matter into my own hands. This is Corporal Downing. Signing off. Now, none of these people out here, or these dead gunners, are named Corporal Downey. I believe he might be in here, but I'm not entirely sure. But we got one of the Star Corps right here, which I intentionally didn't pick it up. I am going to pick it up now, obviously, because we do need these. They are a quest item. I don't know if they actually have any weight or anything. They do not. Okay, good. I couldn't remember if they did or not, but those are needed for one of the other parks, and you can find them all throughout the entirety of Nuka World. You can find a handful of them. You'll find the vast majority of them inside of the specific park, which we will get to in, well, a few episodes, you know. But now in order to get in here, we gotta unlock the door with the security terminal. Oh, never mind. We actually need to turn on Nuka World's main power in order to get in here. Uh, okay then. We are not able to get in there. Now, I don't remember what's in here, to be honest. Because, you know, like I've been saying for most of this playthrough, I haven't played Fallout 4 in like over two years at this point. Not counting this playthrough, obviously. But before I started this playthrough, I hadn't played the game in like over two years. So I don't really remember everything, but I do remember some of the main stuff. And now I'm going to exit out of that door I accidentally exited out of earlier. Because we are not quite done with this place yet. So first we are going to head up to the roof and see... If we can, uh, I forget the name of the person. Their name start. Of course there's a Mirelurk King. Of course there's a Mirelurk King. All right, we're taking the Psycho, we're taking the Medics, and we're taking the Jets, and we are swapping over to the MG42. We're not, we're not even playing around with this guy. There we go, and that was just enough to level up to 41. We are still in danger, though, which is not a huge deal. Oh, it's just a turret. Oh, never mind. Maybe not just a turret. But yeah, like I was saying, we're going up to the roof to see if we can find the person that left that note behind, who I believe they're actually dead. There is like a little loot cache up here somewhere. Oh, there's a Nuka World Red Rocket as well, which is actually and surprisingly the only settlement in the entirety of Nuka World, which I think I kind of hinted at it last time, but there was like a mod that uh, makes... Hold on. That makes another location into a settlement. Wow, I was talking about settlements in Nuka World, you piece of trash. I'm glad the MG42 is as OP as it is, because this dude would have absolutely destroyed me. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't, actually. But yeah, uh, there's a mod that makes a dam a settlement, spoiler alert. But yeah, that's what we're probably going to do next episode. Because it kind of sucks, because... This is just a basically a copy and paste of the Red Rocket from the base game outside of Sanctuary, but it's in Nuka World. But it sucks because you can't even build up this settlement even though the workshop is right inside in the exact same spot as it is in the vanilla game of Fallout 4. But you can't even build there until you turn on the power at the, uh, the Nuka World power plant, which really sucks. Okay, why did the MG42 not do as good on that guy as the king? And we woke up the Mire Alert Queen. Okay, I was hoping to have the actual uh, spot where she would wake up. Or, you know, where you could see her actually wake up. But, uh, that's our... Ooh, Patriot's Cookbook. Somebody threw one of those away. So we're going to hide for the time being with our MG42. Because, ooh, a Nuka Cola victory and a Quartz. Wow. Very nice. Give me love! Go away! <laughs> How is it not dead? Okay, maybe the MG42 is not as good as I made it out to be. Okay, yeah, no, it's it's really not, actually. Ow. Alright, I don't want to waste all the shotgun ammo on a basic nuke alert. We can, uh, well, you can cheese this a little bit. Head's already, uh... Crippled, so we can take it. Oh, I guess it can kind of come up here. But not on my watch. We're still in danger, however, which is fine. There's another one. Why are you so tough? Ugh. 
Leave me alone. There we are. Okay. Now we are back to hidden, so I can actually loot in peace. Oh, yeah. Something I didn't really uh, mention or really actually see until right now, but some of the Nuka Cola machines in Nuka World actually have the, this nice little animation on the TV screen, you know, which I, I think is a nice touch. We are back to hidden, and there is the uh, the Nuka Lurk Queen, which obviously we missed her popping out of the lake, which is why I was saying we weren't going to go out of the tunnel, which I believe is either right there or inside of there. Actually, no, I believe it's like right there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we didn't want to come out of there because we would basically immediately wake her up, which I guess it doesn't really matter because, you know, she's awake anyway. But we will have to defeat her in like a final boss fight thing, which will be super epic and extremely awesome. Ooh, a fusion core. I don't... Is that always there? I do not remember if that's always there or not. That's where we put the flag, actually. So we're not going to go up there just yet. One last area to loot over here. We got another... Uh, oh, Casey's password. And then they hit Boston. They hit Boston. This is really happening. Janie's College is out there. The hell with the evacuation protocols. I have to go find her. Roll, if you find this, sorry I couldn't stick to the buddy system. Good luck. And that is Casey, the dude who went to go check out the roof. See, I thought that there was something else up here. Oh, we also need to look at uh, the hollow tape we just picked up. Casey's password. Oh, wait. It's a password. Never mind. That's for a uh, terminal. Now, that pretty much wraps up all of the looting that I need to do. So, we can start engaging the nuclear queen. And once again, I should have actually grabbed the missile launcher because that would actually do pretty well. Well, in theory, it would do pretty well. Also, I do have a level up, too, that I keep forgetting about. <coughs> we got the nuclear lurk's attention, and she did hit me. We are gonna take the medex and you get cherry. She's got the skull next to her, but two shots from this did a decent amount of damage to her. Yeah, damage actually isn't too bad. Okay, that worked kind of well, kind of nicely, I suppose. And that counts as clearing the interior, even though I didn't even kill the, uh, the queen yet. You really want to avoid her acid, though, because it does ain't a lot of damage. Look at that. We are up to 38 Nuka Colas, and now we can officially heal with nothing but Nuka Cola. Just take a few shots at her and then just back off whenever she spits. Yeah, why does the nuclear queen seem so much weaker than, like, the regular nuclerks? It's actually, uh, kind of wild. I mean, she's not, like, super weak, but, like, you know. Oh, no. The Mirelurk spawns. Oh, I killed both of them. <laughs> I knew that. Oh, you got stuck in the wall. What the heck? A lot of these nuclear spawns. Isn't the end of the world. Now, are you named? No, you're an unnamed gunner. Okay. Like I said, I don't know, or I don't remember if you can find Casey. I have a feeling they're in that room that I couldn't get into. Ow, that was a direct impact to the face. We are, in fact, killing all of the, uh, spawns, though. A few more shots. Okay, gotta reload real quick. Oh, that XP made me think that I got her. Oh, there's more spawns in here. There it is. Oh, that was a critic. Oh, no, on the spawn. Yeah, but that one, the queen gave me, like, 700 XP, which is pretty good. Very nice. I think we've pretty much done it. There's a lot of eggs, though. We have taken out the queen, and the spoils go to me. Oh. Well, never mind. I don't want them. I don't want the spoils, actually. That bag of concrete was worth more than me, or worth more to me 
than what the queen dropped for us. But now that we have taken over the Nuka-Cola bottling plant, like I said, now we actually have to come back up here to take this uh, lift up to the top of this tippity-top bottle, whatever you want to call it, and plant a flag. Here we are. And now we head on over here. Here's the flag post, or the flagpole. And we are going to give this to the operators. And there we go. We have secured Nuka World's bottling plant. And now we actually need to go and find the medallion dispenser because once again, I actually forgot. But I did remember. And there's the quest, which was also delayed just like it was for Kitty Kingdom. So over by the entrance to the world of refreshment, the medallion dispenser is right there. So that takes care of that. Now, before we end things off, we got a tribute chest for us over at uh, the Kitty Kingdom. Oh, and once I fast traveled here, I can already claim my tribute chest from the bottling plant. So we will immediately go there and grab that one as well. So here is our tribute chest. And this is, I guess, their main house that they like, or I guess their main building that they want to use. And they got one of the ghoul chairs right there too, which is hilarious. But all right, the tribute stash, our very first one. 45 rounds of 762, very nice. Some bottle caps, healing powder. A high-capacity handmade sniper rifle, which... How does that compare to the one that I already have? Oh, uh, this is a maximum capacity, which is already better because of the drum mag. That does more damage, but presumably it's single shot. And this one is automatic, which is why it's not as, uh, not as powerful. I don't think it has any other modifications that I would want to put on mine. Then we got a Nuka Cherry, some Nuka Cola, more Nuka tickets and tokens, right away... And a piece of armor that uh, I'm probably not going to take. But yeah, some decent stuff. Like, they actually give you some fairly decent stuff sometimes. But sometimes they give you some not so great stuff. So if we head on inside their uh, their main house, now they actually have, uh, you know, some stuff that's just sitting around. You know, it's like they actually move in and stuff, which I think is uh, a very, very nice touch. Now back over at the Nuka World bottling plant. The tribute chest, I remember, is just over here. And, you know, just like with, excuse me, dog meat, just like with uh, Kitty Kingdom and the pack, the operators have, like, fully moved in over here. So, we can uh, view their tribute stash. Some, some more 762, Cat Eye, another high-capacity handmade, which is actually slightly worse because it does a little bit less damage and it doesn't have the optic on it. So, there's that. Hydra is good. And a lot of new Coca-Cola. They always give us a lot of, ooh... That is kind of tempting, but I'm pretty sure it's getting that extra damage resistance that uh, mine doesn't have, because this one obviously only has 12 and 12, and this is 17 and 17, and then the Ted radiation resistance is because of the lead line modification that it has, but I have deep pocketed for more carry weight, so we're going to leave that as well. And with all of that, before we end things off, and before I forget, because I almost did my outro forgetting about this level up. But then I remembered somehow. I said we were going to take Gunnut 4, and that is exactly what we are going to do. Next level up, we'll take Armorer 4. So that way, Armorer and Gunnut will both be maxed out. That way, I can fully upgrade, well, for the most part, fully upgrade all of my weapons and armor and whatnot. So that will be good. And then afterwards, we'll probably take Rifleman 4. Because ignoring 25% of a target's armor with a slight chance to cripple the limb is really good. That is very good. Now, it would also be good to take rank 3 of Lone Wanderer because when adventuring without a companion, I just do a flat 25% damage across the board. So, I might actually take that because that's just 20 an extra 25% damage for every weapon, whereas this one is specific to non-automatic weapons. But I do want to take another rank of strength so I can get strong back. But we'll get to that eventually. There's a lot of perks and a lot of leveling and stuff that we got to do. So, since I have the map open, uh, like I was saying a bit earlier, up here, this dam. Now, I actually don't remember if in the base game, if it's like, if this border goes from here to there and then the mod author increased the border. I know he expanded the border, but I know in the base game or the vanilla Nuka world, you can't even go over to the dam. But obviously this mod that I was kind of talking about you can, and the dam is a fully functional settlement that you don't need to get the Nuka World's main power back on. So, obviously, as a big settlement builder myself, we are going to be going and checking that out. Probably going to do that next episode before... 
No, I forgot you can do that. Before we actually do Safari Adventure, Dry Rock Gulch, and Galactic Zone. So that'll take place next episode. So uh, hopefully you're looking forward to that. It'll kind of be like a little bit of a mod showcase video in a way. Just because it's a relatively new mod that, like I said, makes the dam... A functional settlement which i think is really cool but with all that being said that is going to wrap things up for this video so if you enjoyed this video i would greatly appreciate you dropping a like on it if you happen so to be new to the channel i would appreciate plan. you subscribing to the channel if you are curious or you want to know any of the mods or configurations that i'm using for my game of fallout 4 in the description there is a link to a google document that i put together and organized the links to every single mod or it contains the links to every single mod and configuration that I am using so in case you want to check that out the link is down below there's also a link to my community discord server in case you want to join that as well other than that I hope you have a great rest of your day morning evening nighttime afternoon whatever time it is for you in whatever time zone you are in and I will catch you all later Delta Wolf out